Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're gonna be doing my annual photo card collection flip through. Currently, I have 13 binders. My collection has grown immensely compared to where I was last year. So if you wanna watch a last year's video to compare, go ahead and check that out. But yeah, let's go ahead and start off with my A5 binders. This is my first one and it's from Prism Platinum. This binder is what I use for my soloists for my girl groups. In my first tab, we have Jisoo's Me debut. My intention is to collect all of the album photo cards. One of my goals this year is definitely to complete this collection, but I have good progress so far. My next tab is for Geo's Zone Comeback. So I collected all of the album photo cards and then I also got some pre-order benefits when I ordered the albums. So this collection is pretty much complete. Next is my Nyon collection for her I'm Nyon debut. I think this year I would love to finish this collection as well. I only have like five photo cards left to complete this comeback. And then this last one are the Ginny cards I pulled from her debut. I don't believe I'm gonna be collecting any more cards for this debut. I'm just gonna keep what I pulled. And then I also have one more tab for any future soloists. My next A5 Prism Platinum binder is for my BTS collection. The photo card I put on the cover is V. This is also my first ever photo card I've ever pulled. And so this one's definitely very sentimental to me. I don't really have the binder organized with the tabs. I just used it to divide some comebacks in like some areas of my collection. So this first part is just album pulls. So these are from Map of the Soul 7. These are the pulls that I got from the versions I bought. And then this page are my pulls from Butter. This page is my pull from Proof, as well as the lucky draws I got from their LA exhibit. And here are the cards that came with Proof. And then I also have the postcards that I've pulled in albums as well. And this next tab, this page is my RM Indigo pulls. And then this spread is my J-Hope Jack in the Box collection. And then here are the postcards from Indigo. This next section is for Jin's The Astronaut. And then this next section is for Face. These are my Jimin pulls. And then also his postcards that it came with. And then this last section is for V's Layover. Also got his postcards in here. And then I have Jungkook's golden in here as well. And his postcards. My goal for this year in this binder is to get copies of August D's album. So then I can have everyone's album and pulls from each album. My next binder is for Espa. I collect Ning Ning. So this first section are my Ning Ning pulls. I would love to be fully caught up with her this year. So I wanna get that done. I'm mostly just missing SMCU cards. And then I need to finish up drama as well. But so far I do have great progress with drama and I'm pretty happy with all that. The next section in this binder is for my OT4 sets. 
So there are a couple sets that I still need to complete. But I believe I've made pretty good progress this year. I was able to collect OT4 for my world. And that was something that I had so much fun with. Then I also have a couple sets that I'm going to collect for drama, but I'm still not for sure if I want to collect OT4 for the whole comeback. And then here are my album pulls for the other three members that I have in this next section. But yeah, and that is everything I have for my Espa binder. All right, next binder we're gonna flip through is my Girl Groups binder. This is an A5 extra wide binder from Meow Cafe. These hold all my miscellaneous girl groups. I put them in order of debut. So first we have this first set from Red Velvet from their recent comeback, Chill Kill. That's one of the bag versions. And then this next section, I have G Idol cards. And then this next section is for Itzy. Most of these are just album pulls, but I do have a few sets that I completed for OT5, especially for Kill My Doubt. My next section is for Ive. I have one complete set from a K-Town For You pre-order benefit. And then these are my album pulls from the recent comeback. My next section is for Nmix. Here's my Expergo cards, then the Midsummer Dream cards. And then later this month, I'm excited to put away the next comeback. This next section is album pulls that I have from Kiss of Life's Born to Be XX comeback. This next section is my XG cards from their Shooting Star comeback and also their debut album. And this next section is for Lucembol's debut. I got an OT5 set. And then these are my album pulls. And that completes everything that's in my miscellaneous girl groups binder. Next, we're gonna flip through my A4 binders. This is one of the Moonlight Standard binders from Meow Cafe. This binder holds my Twice collection for Between 1 and 2 and for Set Me Free, I collected OT9. So here are all the album sets from these two comebacks. I'm excited for their next comeback. I don't believe I'm gonna collect OT9 again, but I think I'm gonna collect my top three for With Youth. And then here are the pre-order benefit sets. And I put these sets in 10 pocket pages to fit all the cards. And that is my twice collection. This next binder holds my boy group's big inclusions. So the first group I have in here is NCT Dream. I like to put their postcards in my binder. My next group is also wavy, so I have a few over here for all my youth. 
and then I got Zhao Jun over here, and then we have NCT's full group comebacks as well. I have some more here. My next group is 17. I just keep my album pools, and I don't really collect a specific member for the big inclusions either. I do have most of Mingyu's big inclusions from the recent comebacks, but it's not a priority of mine to collect all of them. And then here are my Stray Kids big inclusions. And then here are my Enhypen inclusions. And then this last section is for TXT. Most of these are from Free Fall. I got my autographed blue spring cards here. And then the rest are just postcards and mini posters that the album came with. I also got the Target exclusive cards here. These are Weaver's pre-order benefits. Then these are all the mini posters that I pulled. I also have P1 Harmony. That is everything in my boy group's big inclusions binder. While we're looking at big inclusions, let's go ahead and pull out this binder, which holds my girl group big inclusions. So the first group in here I have is for twice. I have a few postcards that I pulled. And then I have some mini posters. The next group is for Itzy. These are just album pulls as well. Then this page has my G Idol pulls from the Heat album. And then the next few pages are from Chill Kills bag version that came with some postcards. These postcards are from XG's album. And then this next section is for Ive. And then we have Lucembol. Kiss of Life. And then this last section is for Blackpink. I would love to collect OT4 for their postcards. So that is a collection that I work on every once in a while.
And that is everything that I have in my girl group's Big Inclusions binder. Next binder we're gonna flip through is my boy group's miscellaneous binder. So first we have NCT Dream. These are just album pulls and each page is for each comeback. I would love to eventually start collecting Mark for NCT Dream, but for now I just keep my album pulls and then I have some OT7 sets I'm working on. Just need to find trades for those. And then here are the concept cards from ISTJ. This page is for my pulls from On My Youth by Wavy. And then this page is for Golden Age. This next section is for Stray Kids. I did collect my top three for five star and I set up for Maxident as well, but I'm not sure if I actually want to collect my top three anymore for Stray Kids. They're just not high on my priority list of groups. So I think I'm just gonna keep my album pulls. Here's my Rockstar pulls. And then I got the Polaroid OT8 set. This next section is an Hypen. I just have my album pulls. And I got a Daikon photo card gifted right there. This next section is for P1 Harmony. These are my album pulls and I'm excited for their album that comes out next week. And then this last section is for TXT. I got album pulls. I do want to finish these free fall sets. I have enough cards to trade. I just need to find trades. But for now, I think these look really good. And then here are some Weavers pre-order benefits. And that completes everything in my miscellaneous boy groups binder. My next binder is for my new jeans collection. I don't necessarily collect all of their album photo cards, but since they're so generous, I do end up having a lot of them. I do have all of them for OMG and for Get Up. I just don't have that many from their debut. I also got some merch cards like their light stick. And then they also did three merch drops for Get Up. And I think I have two of them in my binder right now. This next section is mostly for merch photo cards and for miscellaneous like inclusions as well. These ones are from their merch drop. And then these ones are from their season's greetings. their ID cards in here as well. This last section holds some of my favorite postcards from their albums. And then also some pre-order benefits from Weavers. And then these last pages are the posters from their season's greetings. And that is everything that is in my new jeans binder. Next binder we're gonna flip through is my black pink photo card binder. 
I do collect OT4 for Blackpink for their album cards, but since I did complete OT4 for their album cards, I've decided to back collect for all their mini albums as well. So here's my progress so far. This Jenny card was actually gifted to me by some generous trade. And then I have these next few pages set up for Square Up, also Kill This Love, and How You Like That. Sorry for the glare, but here are my cards for their first album. I love these slim eight pocket pages from Meow Cafe. It's definitely satisfying to see my black pink collection in these. This is for Born Pink. It's nice to have each album version on its own page. And then this next section is from the girls OST. And I got some pre-order benefits. And then this is just the concept cards that came with the OST album. And then these last few pages are just random pre-order benefits that I've gotten for each member. yeah that is everything that i have in my black pink binder i had so much fun completing ot4 this year my goal was to complete ot4 for their album photo cards before i saw them at coachella and i did meet that goal and it was so incredible seeing them at coachella i got barricade and it was just such a good way to celebrate how much i love this group and i cannot wait for their next comeback hopefully sooner than later. And then this final binder holds my OT5 Le Seraphim collection. So here's their debut. And then I also put their Fearless Japan cards after. And then we have the anti-fragile cards. And then this next section is for Unforgiven. And then I have some pre-order benefit sets from Unforgiven. And then we have Unforgiven Japan. And then this next section is merch cards. We got this set from their Fear Not Fan Club. And then this is their first season's greetings. You can also see the back of the double-sided on this side. Got their ID cards here. And then this is from their photo book. And this one's from this year's season's greetings. And then the next few sets are some pre-order benefits that are concept cards. 
And then this last section is for all the postcards. I am so excited for their third mini album that's coming out in a couple weeks. I cannot wait to start collecting. I am going to need to figure out what I want to do in terms of storing in binders because I don't have any more room in this binder. So I'm going to have to figure out if I want to split things up. And also if I want to start a new binder since this is technically like a trilogy and I can keep it in one binder by itself. And then these are big inclusions from their merch. We got the boarding passes from their photo book. We got some pre-order benefits. And then these are also from the season's greetings. The postcards. And then the mini posters. And that is everything in my Le Seraphim binder. So that is all the binders I had to flip through today. It's so exciting to see how much my collection has grown in one year. I'm so excited to collect all the new comebacks this year as well as work on some older collections. But yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching me flip through my binders. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment down below as well. Let's chit chat, have a kiki. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.